Why is it bad to become a cat lady? As an actual cat lady, there is a point where the amount of cats you have is too much for the adequate care that can be provided. And if you can't care for them properly, you can't care for you properly so your mental health takes a decline that some may try to solve with more warm furry cats. Being alone with a few cats is not a problem. Being in any state of relationship status and having too many cats is the real problem. I think three is a good amount for one person. Four max. That is why you should become one. Embrace the cat become a cat lady. Please don't pay attention to an obviously immature child. He appeared to ask. But that would imply that you had a choice. When you said, no. He wasn't ready to deal with that. He got nasty. He started calling you names. He started making predictions about your future. Even undamaged. Healthy people cannot predict the future. This wannabe incel certainly has no powers of prescience. There is nothing wrong with being a cat lady if that lifestyle makes you happy. The thing to be scared of is being verbally assaulted by a jerk who couldn't take no for an answer. It's a ridiculous stereotype thrown at women who are single. Face with rolling eyes. This post, along with this comment, belongs over on our nice guys. That guy was a douche and just didn't appreciate being told no. Don't worry about him. Enjoy your cat and live your best life. I'm a 48-year-old cat lady and I don't care what people think about me. I had my heydays and had my fun. I was in a very serious relationship and got hurt. I have no desire to be involved with a man ever again and I'm okay with that. I'm quite content with my three kitties and have all my money to myself. I don't think there's anything wrong with being a cat lady. It's no one else's business anyway. It's not their life. That man only said that to you because he is a weirdo and he couldn't handle rejection. Who tf cares if you're called a cat lady, it means nothing. It's just this stereotype to shame women who aren't in relationships and scare them into thinking. They better find a man quickly or they'll end up alone with no husband or kids. It's ridiculous. I have seven cats and I'll date if and when I want to LMAO. You'd think someone who owned a cat would see the appeal of becoming a cat lady. I'm a guy in a healthy loving relationship. And yet I still see the appeal of becoming a cat lady. The concept of a spinster or cat lady is a way for men to insult women who baffle them by not needing a man. Historically, women had to rely on a man. Back when women couldn't work or own property. A woman had no worth without a man. And society sometimes has trouble letting go of that. Despite women now not needing to be in a relationship, a woman who doesn't appear to need a man is a wound to the ego. And so the insults get trotted out. I guess in this case, the guy wanted a date and felt hurt and rejected. So try to attach that sense of being undesirable as a mate to you i.e. your being alone couldn't possibly be your choice. It's because you're undesirable. Just classic wounded ego lashing out. Lol no. He was using your cat as a way to insult you. He would have said the same thing if you had a dog but his insult would have involved a dog. He was just mad you said no. Lol, I'd be much more scared to settle down with that guy than to be alone with cat's tears of joy. Do what you like. He was nice until he didn't get what he wanted not the kind of person you'd want to be with anyway. No, but you should be scared of the freaky dude that can't take no for an answer. Source Cat Lady W.A. Cat Dude Partner of 11 Years. Being a cat lady is fine, but don't let yourself get overwhelmed. One of my cats came from a hoarder's house. She had so many cats that when the rescuers went in, they had to step over cat corpses. 
My kitten was four weeks old and was so tightly packed she had a huge ulcer under her tail. Much longer and she would have died. A lot of her siblings did die because they were just too far gone. This lady thought she was taking care of her cats perfectly. So there's nothing wrong with owning cats. But if you have to step over corpses to get into your house, you have a problem. I see it as a compliment. Nailed it. Dude was salty for being rejected. You hurt his feelings so he spat out every insult he could imagine. Despite having connected over cats, you dodged a real jerk. From the sounds of it, op, stay who you are. Be a cat lady don't be a cat lady. Do whatever makes you happy and you win every time. No, be more afraid of ending up with a person like that. Choose cats over sexists. The implied thing with cat lady is that you have no human contact just the cats. But also that you wanted to have human contacts but couldn't find them and are using the cats as a crutch. I think that is something to keep an eye on. Very few people can genuinely thrive without having a social network of family or friends. So keeping some people in your life is usually a good thing. But usually the order is the other way round for cat ladies. You get lonely first and then you get the cats to cope with the loneliness. It's not the cats that make you lonely. Also you can totally be a lady with cats without being a cat lady. Please don't pay attention to this man. He's clearly unstable and delusional. What you should worry about is becoming a bitter person. Both men and women are at risk. Focus on having a fulfilled life. As long as cats are in the periphery, you're good. If they become the center, you might need to start rethinking your priorities. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.